lot of miscommunication um, that led up to um, breaks in momentum, mga momentum shifts, a lot of crucial na um, moments there. Pero I think um, for the games to come, we'll have a lot of um, teams that are pa namin. It's only the beginning, so I have a lot of faith in our team and our coach as well. Makes that sounded like a threat to the other. <laughs> Si Erika, batang-batang, oh. tapang talaga. <laughs> De, pero totoo yun, kasi kanina nga, paulit-ulit ko binabanggit na they have so much youth, talent, and potential in their team. And it's really a matter of playing more together, di ba? Kasi kailan lang naman ba binuo yung team nila. And they're going up against teams like si Signal has been here since 2013, di ba? They're one of the pioneer um, club teams then na pro team na ngayon. So, we have a lot of uh, excitement towards your team. But ikaw naman, Kobe, uh, syempre, I think I asked you this in the kickoff already. You're working with other players na came from different systems. Pero... What did you learn in that uh, game against Signal and how do you think you can improve also um, connecting with them? Sabi ni Erika, may mga miscommunications and momentum breakers in your last game. But how do you plan on working on those things para mas maganda yung result on your next game? I think it's mostly taking it um, per game, like one game at a time. Kasi like what coach would always say, parang we, training is always gonna be there. Pero yung laro kasi is what we need. And every game, marami kaming na, I mean, I'm sure, like the, the first game was parang ang daming mga revelations like what we have to improve and all so i'm pretty sure the upcoming games ang dami ring ma, ma, kaming madidiscover sa isa't isa and what we lack so for me talaga it's really the experience of playing and we have to really play a lot of games para mas pulido and para yun para mas gamay namin yung isa't isa so i guess yeah more of just um le- i guess more of siguro um para kailangan namin mag uh, mag-adjust ng mas mabilis. Kasi, I guess, mm-hmm. I guess, parang maturity as a player, you really have to um, do it quickly, especially in yeah. Pero, yeah, mainly just, you know, we have to really play a lot of games. So. Mitch, Mitch, speaking of revelations, what can you say about the debut performance of your teammate na si Erica Raagas? Ano mo masabi ko dyan? Um, actually, yung, that, yung, yung, nung natapos na yung game and then I saw the score sheet, I got really, actually, hindi ako na-surprised, pero I got really surprised in a way na parang, wow, like, that was 17, I that was 60 points. And I mean, even from the beginning, naman, I am super confident kay Eric kasi maganda talaga yung pinapakita niya. And I'm glad and I'm happy for her na na, na, na lumabas yun sa game namin. And the first, first ever game. So, look at Erica, look at Erica. She's so red right now. <laughs> <laughs> Erica, Erica, do you have any message for Mitch for giving you a lot of sets in that match? <laughs> oh, oh, thanks Ate Mitch because you made me look really good. But it's really the set kasi. It's really the set, it's really the set. Na nakaka, ano, like, um, he was some blockers, because I really wouldn't have made those points if you know if it weren't for them then. And Erica, what makes Mitch a special, a unique setter for you? Um, mostly the leadership that she brings inside the court. Um, you know na parang you can you can uh maasahan mo si Ate Mitch inside and um she's not afraid to speak up. Because for me that's the thing about being a new team. No one wants to be a leader yet, no one wala pang next step up for us, but si Ate Mitch parang it wasn't even there yet, but she took up she took that um role in the team and I'm really glad that she did. Very natural leader. Alam mo, Megsi, ano ka lang ha, ikwento ka lang, kasi tinanong mo, what makes Kobe unique? Mm-hmm. Well, speaking as, you know, one of her former opponents, <laughs> nakakalansi talaga siya. So, nag-gets kayo sinabi ni Erika na she made her look good kasi naiiwan yung blockers. Kasi, you know, other people would count Kobe out dahil maliit daw siya for a setter, ganito, ganyan. But actually, she gets a lot of block touches. And when it comes to setting, she keeps jumping. Yan talaga yung impression ko dito kay Big Kobe. Sabi ko, shock, tutulong si Kobe. Tatalo ng tatalo na naman to. Eh, kapag ka, ang setter tumatalon, dun ka talaga kakagat eh. Kasi hindi mo alam until last second kung kanina nila ibabato. So, mukhang totoo yung threat dito ni Erica na marami pa silang papahirapan. <laughs> especially with her and Kobe as part of this new team in Akari. Gusto ko yung kahit anong puri natin, Kim Mitch. Hindi siya namumuli. Uh, Fuck your face. <laughs> Pero ito guys, kasi kayong dalawa, um, you have different stories prior joining um, the, the Akari Chargers, di ba? For, for Kobe, she was on the leaves of volleyball bago siya pupunta sa, sa Akari. And I think uh, when she guested with us last time, natanong ko na din to kung ano yung special sa Akari at na parang na-inspire siya bumalik ulit. But for you, Erica, you know, you had a very um, fruitful year with Ateneo. You were one of the main contributors in their last uh, season, di ba? Pero what made Akari um, as the team that let you um ba, skip on your on your remaining UAP year Ooh. and going pro. Um well actually Akari didn't really have um didn't really affect my decision to remaining years. I really wanted to um go years in Ateneo because I wanted to give the younger the, the younger um players a chance and 
para din makapaglaro sila and ma-enjoy nila yung what I've been enjoying with Ateneo for the past few years. And um, a career just kind of presented itself to me na lang na parang it was an opportunity na I could I I, I took right away after oh, I I said bye na to Ateneo. So, yun. It was all, you could buy by chance lang talaga. I didn't know when I when I quit Ateneo, I didn't know where I want to go yet. Pero, mm. yeah. Oh, so ganun pala. Ano, hindi pala siya well, related yung yung kanya mga naging decision. So she decided to go pro even prior a career reach out. But, but it's very interesting kasi it's fitting eh, di ba? Na yung numbers niya ngayon pang pro talaga. Right, right. Maybe she saw this opportunity to score 16 points <laughs> on her debut in the PBL. But Erica, I'm curious. If it didn't work out with Akari, where could you have gone? Um, Maybe I would have sat out the season and tried my luck on the next conference. Try out for other teams. Because I was planning to um try out pa. And if not, I would have went to... Um, Law school or maybe Ooh, law school. Oh, there you go. Stop schooling. I stop playing. Na lang. Yeah. And for Kobe, Kobe, ka naman. Nung time na hindi ka naglalaro, um, ano yung ginive up mo para maglaro ka ulit? Like what were you doing ano during the time? Na, ano yung ano yung ginagawa mo during the time na wala pa yung Akari? Na, sure, when you joined Akari, you had to give this thing up that you were doing during that time. Actually, it was very, like, not part of the picture. As in, nasa, I, was, I was on a vacation in Canada pa with my sister. Tapos, biglang pinagtatek sa akin. Ganyan. Tapos, eh, syempre, wala talagang, wala naman nasa isip ko kasi, hello, tarang, I'm in another country. Tapos, ayun, parang, niligawan ako. <laughs> Araw-araw ako. Wow. Well, DR pala ang nangyari. Naliligawan. Tapos, sabi ko na, maybe this is a sign na, you know, like, I believe kasi, like, opportunities, you know, they don't come a second chance. So, parang, Maybe it's a sign that you know I should try it out again, and I feel like I made the right decision. So, okay, yeah. sorry, Mitch. I have to ask. Pano ka niligaw ng akari? Ano, like before before leaving for Canada, they already Tita Moose already like prepped me with like the the plan basically for akari. Like, wala pa kasi as in from scratch talaga siya. Mm-hmm. Tapos mm-hmm. when I was there, like, sure, kasi parang sure they have to secure they they have to secure me asap. So parang when I was about OEC na oh when I get back na lang ganyan pero I didn't think it was part of the plan na they would wait for me to come back so like I had to make a decision when I was there and I feel like wow. ayun para para yeah I feel like isip ako talaga siya nang mabuti kahit na parang wala wala ako sa vision kasi syempre kasi ibubuksa ko nang tapos <laughs> right <laughs> para hindi siya nakabakas nang maayos nanungkot pa ako eh tinit so like relax lang dapat siya yeah na is that it is yeah ayan so yun yung story Ayan. Okay, pero speaking of story, ito ah, before we let the girls go, um, speaking of story, gusto namin malaman yung story and reaction mo na rin behind this video that we'll be playing. I, I, I think, alam mo na what video this is, pero Basta Canada yata siya nito. Reaction vid, reaction vid sana. Let's let's get both your ano, your thoughts yeah. on this, Erica and Kobe. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's play the video. Everyone, if Dada puts it away! <laughs> Well, that's a cover up. Right, everyone. Get up, puts it away. Yeah. Tawang tawa si Erica at si Kobe. That's a cover up. Pero sige, bago natin Get itanong up. si Kobe, ikaw, Erica, you know, watching this video, at syempre, nagtitraining kayo, I wanna ask, is it just really your way of bonding, of of crediting someone when you're scoring points? Sige, yeah. so walk us through the, ano. Um, um, I think that's just Ate Pri showing her love, Ate Mitch. She's a very, like, um passionate person when it comes to playing, and she shows it and when she makes points in the game, so parang nakahawa din yung energy niya. So ganun. Um, we're kawawa lang sa Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Pero I don't think, ano naman siya ha, super lakas. I think that's yeah, a laughing. lumping way. It happened. Ano. Yeah, yeah. Oh, ikaw, Kobe. Sige. Una, tell oh, us oh, how you felt. Tapos, oh. ayun, yung backstory na din kung ganun ba talaga kayo mag-ano, mag-bonding after a point. How I felt, hindi ko siya, hindi ko siya in-expect ng time na yun. I think because of sobrang high <laughs> Sobrang din na din siya doon sa regalo. <laughs> so, pero actually, kahit sa training ka lang siya, I mean, oh. as, in, as in, like, ako, ako siguro, specifically, kasi magkatabi kami sa defense. Mm-hmm. So, kanyari, pag nakakuha ko ng first ball, ako talaga, hindi ko talaga tinatry kumuha ng first ball kasi, as in, like, yung mga ganun naman niya sa akin, parang ano lang yun, like, alam mo yun, like, lameng. 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 As in, mm-hmm. pero masakit. <laughs> <laughs> no pain, no gain. <laughs> Ayun, pero okay lang kasi parang at least ngayon sobrang hindi na talaga ako like mas mas ano na ako sa okay, pupunta na ako sa pinakukuha na first ball kasi katabi ko naman siya and like she got it na. So, 
yung mga ganong moments. Next time, ilag na lang. <laughs> so, parang ano siya, wake up call, reminder, at saka lambeng, all in one. Yes. Pero, yeah. syempre guys, to clarify lang sa ating mga PV- PVL fans, kasi hindi naman nila nakikita yan sa atin, di ba? And we have to remind them also na in other cultures, in other countries, minsan ganun talaga sila. And uh, it doesn't really mean na, ay, sinasaktan nila yung teammates nila. May mga kanya-kanyang ways lang talaga yung mga players. And syempre, it's acknowledged also by like the likes of Kobe and other players. So, ano naman tayo? All good naman po tayo dito. Wala pa magdadaman. <laughs> We have to respect the Olympian. Yes. Yeah. Ayan. Oh, na lang pala, um, guys. Last na lang din. Siyempre, it's the reinforced conference. Siguro, your uh, thoughts in a nutshell na lang about your import. How much you guys learn from her and how much does she inspire you? Because like Mix mentioned, may, may experience sa Olympics. Ganyan. So, for you, Kobe. Ako, personally, I just really want to be better for her. I think that's the top of my head na every training, I try to be better specifically for her and to like, actually make everything per- close to perfect, I think. Like, in terms of text-wise, ganun. I think yun kasi yung focus ko ngayon is more of making her work. Making her work and making her Because, like, she can do it alone. So, that's... I want to be able to come out the the Olympian in her as much as possible for every game. So, I like that quote. Very, no, no, no. The Olympian in her. Ayan. At nakikita na nga natin yan. But for you naman, Erica? Um, for me, I think I just wanna do my role and support her in any way that I can and um I-, I learn a lot from her she always tells me like what to do or like what um in situations what she gives me advice and I try to take that all in as much as I could even in training uh, she guides me a lot she tells me now oh you know I played before and uh, my blockers were like six feet five but that didn't stop me so that shouldn't stop you either so then I just mm. try to take as much uh, learnings I can from her and it's like having a court in- uh, a coach pala inside the court then wow. so yeah very inspiring nice. naman itong si Mommy Pri. But ayan, thank you so much girls for your time today. We we learned a lot from you guys too, especially the stories you shared. And we just can't wait to see more of you, Erica and Kobe, and the rest of the Akari Chargers in your um future games here in the Reinforced Conference. So thank you so much. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, thank you. Good luck, good luck. Thank you. Moments of yeah. our fans. Oo nga, kasi during the time na nag-i-interview tayo, hindi tumitigil ang comment section. So mukhang marami pa talagang gustong manalo ng lower box tickets for tomorrow's games. Ayan. So guys, kung meron kayong mga final entries, all you have to do is comment dyan sa baba kung sino ang favorito niyong team dito sa PBL Reinforced Conference. And our Kumu team is already selecting our winner. So let's go more, more, more entries. Dahil bukas may chance kayo mapanood ang Cream Line versus PLDT at 2.30 and Chocomucho versus F2 at 5.30 sa Phil Sports Ultra po yan. At ang ating mga winners ay mananalo ng dalawang lower box tickets. Pwede po kayo magsawa, magsama ng inyong jowa, <laughs> ng inyong friends. At kahit sino gusto niyong isama, pwede mong yes. Kumu buddies ninyo. Ayan. So let's go comment comment. Hmm, who are your favorite teams? Ayan. So meron tayong ang first winner natin si Jinilin underscore DC. Jinilin underscore DC. That's yeah, a very interesting username. Congratulations. Lower box tickets Lower yan. box to guys. Baka makita nyo na yung mga butil ng pawis ng inyong mga idols. <laughs> Pero ayan, we're selecting more winners in the comment section. So let's go. More, more, more entries ang ating next winner mix. Sino ba yung ating uh, next winner ng LB tickets? The next winner is Asiram de la Cruz. Asiram de la Cruz. Congratulations Asiram. to you. Feeling ko Marisa to na binaliktad. So Marisa, kung tama ka nung ako na Marisa ang <laughs> pangalan mo. Congratulations. You won two LB tickets. And our last winner we have Jackie V underscore Sabino. Ayan. Balit na dyan. Hindi na ito balit. Pero, ayan, reach lang tayo sa ating tatlong winners ng two tickets each. We have Jeanine underscore DC, Asira, Asiram de la Cruz, at si Jackie V Sabino. Congratulations. Please check your Kumu DMs or your uh, messages para makita nyo ang uh, ating mga Kumu associates reaching out to you for the instructions on how to claim your prize. So, paano ba yan? Partner, doon na magtatapos ang ating first episode, ang ating comeback yes. episode dito sa PBL and Kumu The Show. This Kamusta? Is nag-enjoy, nag-enjoy ka ba? Well, of course. Uh, first of all, na-miss natin to. Definitely, I miss you, partner. I miss our uh, production team. I miss having Michelle Cove on our show. <laughs> and grabe yung kwento ni Erica. She could have been a lawyer. Ang ganda yun, nun. Yun din yung gusto ko sa The Show eh. Kasi, you know, we get to ask questions that we're really curious about in and out of, of volleyball of PBL, di ba? And it gives more knowledge to us and even the fans. Kaya guys, sana abangan nyo pa ang mga susunod naming episode dito sa PBL ng Kumuda Show every Wednesday po yan at 3pm. At syempre, para mas exciting, namin bigay kami ng mga tickets 
dito sa ating mga episode. So, we'll see you guys next week. Mix, baka may gusto kong i-vlog bago tayo paalam. Gusto ko lang i-vlog na bukod sa show natin every Wednesday, meron po tayong PBL Reinforced Conference Games, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays po yan. So, that's four days in a week that we talk about volleyball. Okay. See you guys there. Ayan. So, guys, I'll be covering the game on Saturday. Make sure that you guys watch here on PBL Channel sa Kumu. And we'll see you next Wednesday. Bye-bye! Happy see you Wednesday! Guys. Welcome back!